Hello students, welcome to Shorts' classes. This is ISI Subjective B Stat 2018 solution. So we are given uh, suppose that PQ and RS are the two chords of a circle intersecting at point O. Okay, so here these are PQ, okay, and RS intersecting at O. Given that uh, PO, that this part, PO is 3 and SO is 4. Okay, I should have drawn it a little bit higher. So 3, this is 4. And moreover, the area of the triangle POR, that is this one, is 7 centimeters square. Find the area of the triangle QOS. Now, uh, QOS is this triangle. So we have formational structure. These two triangles to each other. So area of the triangle POR divided by area of triangle SOQ is nothing but PO square by is O square according to the rule so this is 9 by 16 according to these two values 9 3 square and 9 by 16 so area of triangle SOQ is nothing but it will be reverse 16 by 9 into this value was 7 centimeter square as angle POR so 112 by 9 hence the Area of the triangle QOS is angle QOS is 112 by 9 centimeter square. Now going for the next question. In this question, now we have question number 3. They say let f is a real plane and continuous function such that for all x with real values and t greater than or equal to 0 fx is given f of e to the power tx so that f is a constant function so if you have to find this thing so here you have to put e to the power t into x this thing equal to y so x equal to e to the power minus t into y so we can write f of e to the power minus t into y is f of y for all values of t. Now, I got t infinity. If t tends to infinity, then limit t tends to infinity f of y equal to limit t tends to infinity f of e to the power minus t into y or f of y is limit h tends to 0 f of h now here h equal to e to the power minus t into y and h is tends to 0 now as t tends to infinity okay so they have given that f itself is a constant be a continuous function so it is a continuous function it is continuous at x equal to 0 where for its real values for its continuity it is continuous at x equal to 0 also so that is limit h tends to 0 f of h equal to f of 0. So if this thing applied so directly now you can get to the direct answer f of 0 is only for all values of y hence f is a constant function as well because for all values for f1 for f2 for f3 in that way is giving you the same so irrespective of anything we can say that the function is constant okay remember that continuity doesn't always guarantee differentiability as well 
But in this functional structure, we can say that this continuous function is actually comes out to be a constant function. As a different point, we get the same value. In the next video, I will solve from question number 4.